Hey guys, what's going on? Um, today I've got a couple of things to show you. First of all, uh, this is the Umbreon that I got as an incredible FCBM from the Lucky Pikachu, so uh, big shout out to him for that. Uh, you're definitely going to be seeing Umbreon joining me for a lot of my videos from now on. Uh, <clears throat> I have been very, very bad about actually having a background, having anything in my background, so uh, I figured this is a perfect opportunity to um, to start having something that's not my desk, which is incredibly messy and a really... Uh, really blank, um, well, playing space, I guess, so you will start seeing Umbreon a lot now. And the second thing is uh, we need to start working on this booster box here. Uh, this is um, Japanese Cry from the Mysterious or Mysterious Cry booster box, depending on uh, what translation you go by. Um, this box uh, won my May vote video. Uh, it was a fairly close uh, vote, uh, intense fight in the Destroyed Sky, the uh, sixth edition of uh, Diamond and Pearl. Got a lot of votes. Um, but this one definitely won out, got a lot of support from the community, so I'm going to start opening it now. Um, it's one half of uh, Diamond and Pearl 5, the other half is called Temple of Anger. I'm going to open this off camera actually while I'm talking. Uh, the other half is called Temple of Anger, but I've yet to find it for cheap enough to justify buying it. Uh, Poly 100's got it now, but it's like it's like 110 or 120 bucks plus shipping, which is... It's just more than I'd want to pay for a box if I can help it, because that's going to work out to like $6 a pack, and that's quite a bit, so. Uh, get a nice show of the uh, of the artwork on the box. You can see the Groudon, the Rayquaza, um, and you can see the Heatran, obviously, in the uh, in the foreground. You can see each of the sides, too. Uh, i got a Gliscor and a Spiritomb here. Of course, just the energies, and actually, there's a nice Rayquaza just kind of hiding himself in the background there. And then on this side we have, I believe that is a Crawdont and a Dragonair. So, really looking forward to these, uh, to opening these packs. It's going to be, as per the usual for the Diamond and Pearl series, it's going to be two parts and ten packs in each part. So, we'll slide that in the back. And get a look at the artwork, of course, it looks just the same as, uh, as on the front there. No, I'm... Almost positive this is unlimited and not first edition, but hope you guys don't mind. Uh, I believe this is also a set that has uh, two rares and a hollow in each pack. So I'm going to attempt to blindly get the card trick correct the first time around. We'll see what happens. Alright guys, here we go. Uh, we have, let's see if we can focus in there a little bit. All right, we have Poliwag, uh, Taillow, Pineco, Bellsprout, Tauros, Unknown Y, Unknown V, and a Metal Energy. The first rare is a Foratress. The second rare is a Poliwrath and looks really cool. And my first holo is a great one. It's Rayquaza. Awesome. Very, very cool. Kind of interesting that they... Um, that they do different stuff with the legendaries in the set. Uh, you'll see it as I go on. Um, but there is a legendary that has a non hollow rare. There are legendaries that have hollows. And then there are legendaries and even a, I believe, a non legendary that is a level X. So, I find that pretty interesting. Moving on with the next pack, we have, let's see, Tentacool, Yanma, Pineco, <laughs> Spoink. Um, I believe this is, what is his name? Uh, this is Buck's Training, I think. I hope I have that right. Uh, Camerupt, looking swell. Uh, Unknown W, and a Grass Energy. Uh, first rare is another Fortress, and second rare is another Polyrath, so that's kind of weird. But the Hollow is new, and the Hollow is a Spiritomb, so, very cool. There are three different level X cards in this set. And uh, the pull ratios tend to be pretty good out of it, so there is the possibility that I'll get all three. There's also the possibility, however rare it might be, that I can actually complete this set out of this box. Which would be fantastic news for my wallet. <laughs> Alright, uh, another Tentacool, Poliwhirl, uh, Lediba, Gloom, really nice looking Mightyena. That's pretty, uh, that's pretty sweet. Uh, unknown Question Mark, which I believe completes my Unknown set in three packs. That's really nice. Uh, swallow and a Fighting Energy. Uh, rare number one is Groudon, so uh, this is one of the uh, legendaries that got a non-hollow rare. 
but still looks really nice. Wow, a third Polyrath. Uh, so anybody looking for this card, uh, I will trade you for. I will trade it to you for something else. And the Hollow is a Heatran Hollow. Nice. So three packs in, and I've already gotten all three uh, Pokemon that were on the front there. So that's pretty nifty. Hope you guys enjoy this set. Um, I know I'm only three packs in, but I really like it so far. It is on the smaller side for sets, but <clears throat> it's just loaded with really good Pokemon. So You'll see more examples in the uh, packs to come. Tentacool, Poochiena, uh, Chinchow, Bellsprout, uh, Poke Radar, I think, uh, Grumpig, Unknown Y, and another Fighting Energy. Uh, rare number one is a Kyogre, and that is a really cool card. I think I might zoom in on that to make it my uh, thumbnail for the video. Uh, second rare is a, what is it called, Snow Cloak cast form. And the Hollow is a Giratina Hollow. Uh, if you watched my random promo pack opening, which was... I don't know, it had like a pack of this, it had a pack of Temple of Anger, and a pack of Intense Fight in the Destroyed Sky. You'll know that I already pulled this card. But there are only, I believe, eight regular hollows in this set, so it's nice to get another one for certain. Pretty cool. Doing well with the hollows so far. I will definitely have some duplicates up to move, but hopefully not too many of the same ones. I believe there's a Dragonite Hollow in this set that I would love to pull a couple of, though. That'd be pretty nice. Wait for it to focus. All right, next pack is Tentacool, Yanma, Gloom, Numel. Uh, this is Root Fossil, I think. Uh, Marowak, Tentacruel. This one is actually really nice. Love that artwork. And a Darkness Energy. Rare number one is another Groudon. Rare number two is a regular uh, cast form. And the Hollow is another Rayquaza. No problems here. Love to get those legendaries. Makes them easy for trade bait. So that one will definitely be up for trade. Yet to come across anybody from the Lake Trio. Uh, Yuxi and uh, Mesprit, I believe, have non-Hollow rares as well as level X cards. But obviously I'm hunting for the level X cards. That would be the best uh, possible outcome. Uh, you can see Umbreon creeping in the back there. Sorry, I'm kind of blocking him. Uh, Poliwag, Gligar, Poochiena, Numel, Tauros, Grumpig, Dragonair. I have this card already, but it's still really nice. And a Fighting Energy. A rare number one is another cast form. A uh, rare number four, uh, number two is the cast form, what is it? Sun Cloak or Fire Cloak? I, I don't know exactly what it's called, but... It's cool nonetheless, and I'm a fan of cast form. I know he's kind of goofy, and it kind of looks um, graphic there, but it, I think it's a really cool uh, cool Pokemon. And the Hollow is a Gliscor Hollow. Cool. I like the different like types and layers of, uh, of holographic sparkle that they have. If you look in the bottom right-hand corner, it's nice to see the big ones in the front, and then like that like sparkle hollow dust in the background. I think it's a, uh, I think it's a nice look for the cards. Moving on to the next pack. <laughs> really glad I had the card trick right, uh, right off the bat. Alright, here we have uh, Corfish, Talo, Chinchow, Numel, Marowak, Unknown, I think that's question mark, uh, Swallow, and a Psychic Energy. A rare number one is another cast form Snow Cloak. Rare number two is a Crawdont, and I think that's the first time I've uh, pulled a Corefish or a Crawdont, because I generally only open black and white, and I don't think I've come across them in a set so far, so I'd have to double check that though. And the Hollow is another Gliscor Hollow. Is anybody keen on this card in particular? I will be having it up for trade or sale, just like the other um, Hollow duplicates. You can check my wants list, there should be an info bar at the bottom. Um, but I And I usually put this warning on there. But if you ever see me with part one of a video, and uh, and then you check the wants and haves list, then it may include spoilers from part two. So you'll always want to be wary about that. I tend to open them back to back, and then I just upload them on separate days. Anyways, enough chit chat. Uh, Tentacool, Poliwag, Pineco, Gloom. Uh, I think this is um, Stark Mountain. 
Uh, and this is the last trainer I needed, a uh, Technical Machine TS1. It's a bit wordy, so I'll probably shorten it if I pull more. And another Poké Radar and a Metal Energy. Uh, first uh, rare is a... Is this Cradley? Yeah, this actually looks really nice. It's a nice look. I'm a, I'm a big fan of the... Uh, the really, like... It's kind of hard to describe, but I'm a big fan of the green in the background, how, like, overarching it is, and then how the pink kind of contrasts it. It's really cool. Uh, second rare is a Victory Bell, my first Victory Bell. I think I still need a Weeping Bell. Emma Hollow is another Spiritomb. Sweet. So, I haven't managed to pull a level X yet. Hoping to get one in this video, in this, uh, in this first half here. Would be nice. Hopefully save it for the last pack, actually. I think that's, uh, that'd be the way to go. Alrighty, Cubone, Dratini, Bellsprout, Spoink, Camerupt, Tentacruel, Unknown W, and Grass Energy. Uh, first rare is a Foratress. Second is a um, Water Cloak or Rain Cloak uh, cast form. So I think that completes my cast form set. And my Hollow is a third Gliscor. Pretty cool. I don't know if I mentioned this already. There's like, there's eight hollows in the set, and there's like 15 non-hollow rares. So that's where I believe the possibility exists for me to maybe pull the whole set in this box, or at least not have more than a couple of cards that I need to find. Um, there's Lilip. So that's my first Lilip. Awesome, and my first Weeping Bell. Uh, Dratini, Numel, Tauros, Lantern. First one of those, and first Ledian too. A lot of firsts in this pack. Hoping to get a first out of the hollows too. That would be very nice to uh, finish off the video. Uh, cast form rare, a Torkoal rare, which is new, and another Rayquaza hollow. So again, that will be up for trade. Hopefully, this means that the second half is filled with level X cards, but we will see what happens. So again, just a quick recap of the hollows in this part. We have Rayquaza, Gliscor, Spiritomb. Gliscor, Gliscor, Rayquaza, Giratina, Heatran, Spiritomb, and another Rayquaza. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Definitely looking forward to pulling some new stuff in the second half of this video, which will be uploaded on Sunday. Uh, I have to work early on Sunday, like 7.45 or something, so it'll probably be up early on Sunday rather than later. Unless, of course, I forget, which is entirely possible. So thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and stay tuned for part two tomorrow.